Good evening and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Jessica Harrington. Today is Armed Forces Day and several veterans took their bravery to new heights through the summer kickoff event of a local skydiving program. 23 ABC's Noelle Lilly was there as those veterans made the jump. Today, Comrades and Canopies has broken the national record by having over 22 veterans jump out of a plane. Multiple times a year, the organization takes veterans free of charge on skydiving trips at Skydive Taft. Any and all vets are welcome. Organizers say skydiving is a way to build camaraderie and reinvigorate local vets who may be struggling at home. Multiple times a year, the organization takes veterans free of charge on skydiving trips at Skydive Taft. Any and all vets are welcome. Organizers say skydiving is a way to build camaraderie and reinvigorate local vets who may be struggling at home. Coping with post-traumatic stress, finding a job, going to school, whatever it may be that, that's inhibiting you from success as a civilian, if you can jump out of an airplane from 13,000 feet, you can do anything. The oldest veteran to take a leap of faith today was a first-time skydiver and Korean War veteran who turns 84 this week. Comrades and Canopies host events just like this year-round. And to find out how you or a local veteran can learn more, go to turn23.com. Reporting in TAF, Noel Lilly, 23 ABC, connecting you. Meantime, Kern County showing its appreciation for the brave men and women who are currently in our military. The Kern River Blue Star Moms hung the hometown hero banners to honor active duty service members. They were put up on 21 light posts in the Amtrak Station playground on Truxton Avenue. The Blue Star Moms say it's a way for anyone coming through Bakersfield to see how the city honors and recognizes the sacrifice from these service members. It's so important for us to remember that there are people out there, regardless really if they're in our community or not, there are people out there who are serving their country away from their families, making those sacrifices for us. The Kern River Blue Star moms say they hope to have banners throughout downtown Bakersfield. So we're seeing that rain here in the county. A winter like storm has reached us here and we're seeing that widespread rain. Some areas seeing that moderate rain as well. But here on our rooftop camera, you can see that rain coming down 59 as that temperature right now, nine degrees cooler than it was at this time yesterday. So we are going to see those cooler temperatures tomorrow as this winter like storm continues to move through and impact the county. As for the rest of the valley, we are in those upper 50s, 60s in some areas, 37 in Fraser Park. Right Right now, 54 into Hatchby and 57 in Lake Isabella. So we're going to see those wind speeds pick up as well. Already seeing breezy conditions here in Bakersfield as well as our mountain communities. But some weather headlines to be aware of for this system. Well, those showers are going to continue overnight. The county is going to see a good soaking and then that snow level is going to drop to 6,000 feet. So higher elevations could see snow and then we are looking at the chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. I'll have details on that coming up. In other news, the city of McFarland is still looking for answers concerning the whereabouts of missing city manager John Wooner. The Bakersfield Police Department joining the search, issuing a missing person poster on social media yesterday. Wooner was last seen visiting Hillcrest Memorial Park Cemetery and driving a city vehicle. McFarland Mayor Manuel Cantu says as the city continues to look for Wooner, his staff and directors will continue to fill the void of Wooner's absence. Anyone with information on Wooner's whereabouts is asked to call BPD at 327-7111. Tomorrow will mark one year since the passing of former mayor Harvey Hall. Hall, who founded Hall Ambulance, died on May 19th, 2018 due to complications with Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. He served six years as the city's may 16 years, I should say, excuse me, as the city's mayor and is remembered for celebrating the good in Bakersfield and, of course, for his fashion style. Cal State Bakersfield announced in January it would honor the former mayor's legacy with the Harvey L. Hall Plaza at the Icardo Center. CSUB officials telling 23 ABC today that the plaza is on pace to be unveiled next year. Within the last two months, children have been found unresponsive in backyard pools here in Bakersfield. The most recent, a one year old found Thursday. Officials stressing safety now more than ever as we get closer to hot months. Us having families and parents take CPR and first aid classes. That way, if they do find their child or loved one in the water, that they can start giving compressions and ventilations right away. 
Today, the American Kids Sports Center also hosted free water safety day. Organizers say it was all about providing parents and children access to safety resources and education about water safety. Children were able to take part in activities in the pool revolving around water safety skills and fun. There were also face painting, bounce houses and snow cones at today's event. In culmination of National Police Week, Bakersfield is currently celebrating former police officer David Nelson with the annual Boots and Brew for Country Music Festival. So during National Police Week, um, there's a lot of events that you honor the badge and men and women in uniform. And we feel at the end of National Police Week, uh, kind of do this last, you know, hoorah and have fun um, and actually represent the people behind the badge. You know, the kind of people that, you know, actually go listen to live music, love country music. Uh, they're just like you and me. And that's what this is all about. Um, and David was one of those people. The festival, which is being held at the 1933 Event Center, is happening right now. Attendees get to enjoy live country music and take part in some line dancing. The event is free, but there will be prizes at the event. Those proceeds will go to the Officer David Nelson Memorial Scholarship Fund. The festival continues until 10 o'clock tonight. Locals had a chance to get fresh fruits and vegetables all for free at Bakersfield's no cost farmers market. Community Action Partnership of Kern's Food Bank held the farmers market at the Kern County Fairgrounds. There was 35,000 pounds of produce to give to hundreds of community members. No ID was required for those in attendance and they got to enjoy the free food. Organizers say the event was all about alleviating the cost of produce so that money can go to other expenses. If you missed today's farmers market, they're held on the third Saturday of each month. Monsters are set to take over the Kern County Raceway. Monster Trucks, that is. The All-Star Monster Trucks Tour is riding into Bakersfield. It's the biggest track and it's the biggest show that's ever been to Bakersfield. The monster trucks can really fly outdoors on this huge paved track. So rain or shine, it doesn't matter. It's a hard actual asphalt surface out here. Doesn't affect these huge monster trucks at all. So they can get huge air. It's the first time this tour will be in at the Kern County Raceway here in Kern County. The show is postponed today, but will continue tomorrow. The show is set to start at 1130 tomorrow morning and runs until four in the afternoon. Well, the Kern County Museum filling with hundreds of kids and their parents as Kids Fest once again took over. Organizers say Kids Fest is a fun filled day for babies, toddlers, children and their families to play and learn about the important aspects of growing up happy. There were several bounce houses for children to play on, including some water slides. Kids could even go play laser tag, take a ride in a train or visit the 60 plus vendors on hand. Organizers say they had around 4000 people in attendance. Coming up next, new video showing a dramatic chase that led to a rescue earlier this week. We'll tell you about this incident in Wisconsin. Emma? And this winter-like storm will continue to impact the county tomorrow. I'll have details on just how much rain we could see when 23 ABC News returns. Welcome back as the debate over abortion continues in this country and more and more states are passing legislation restricting access to abortion. The issue is likely to be key in the 2020 presidential campaign. ABC's Rachel Scott has more. The debate over abortion has renewed political battle lines, moving the polarizing issue of women's reproductive rights to the center of the 2020 election. Just two days after Alabama banned almost all abortions in the state, Missouri lawmakers said they are ready to give the okay in their state too. Missouri passed an anti-abortion bill of its own, banning nearly all abortions after eight weeks of pregnancy. 2020 Democratic candidates responded in outrage. We must come together to declare that reproductive rights are human rights. They are civil rights and they are non-negotiable. Democratic candidate Senator Elizabeth Warren unveiled an abortion rights platform following the new laws. The crowded field of Democrats mostly united in their stance, but at odds with the current administration. I couldn't be more proud to be part of an administration that has stood strong on the timeless values that have made this nation great and stood without apology for the sanctity of human life. More than a dozen states have passed laws restricting abortion. A 2018 ABC News Washington Post poll asked Americans if the Supreme Court should make it harder to get an abortion. 30% said yes, while 21% said they'd like to see it get easier. But most Americans at 45% said they'd like it to remain just the same. 
Rachel Scott, ABC News, the White House. In other news, shocking new dash camera video from an early morning high speed chase on Thursday has been released by the Monroe County Sheriff's Department in Wisconsin. A Colorado man led officers on a high speed chase on Interstate 90 in Monroe County. Speeds hitting about 120 miles per hour until they ran off the interstate. The vehicle stolen from Colorado lit on fire. You can see the flames there. The driver didn't get out on his own despite officers. Please, after several minutes of telling the man to get out, officers physically pulled him out as flames engulfed the vehicle. Well, check this out. A fire sparked up on an electric billboard in New York's Times Square. The city's fire department says it's now under control. The sign covers about four floors of a building, but the flames did not spread beyond the sign. And so far, no injuries have been reported. Scary stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's bring in 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart. We are definitely on storm watch. We don't really have to look far for that storm, though. It is here. It's here. We can hear it. It kind of calmed down a little bit, but we are hearing it come down quite hard here in the studio on our roof. But that though, that widespread rain is expected to con continue through those evening hours with areas here in Bakersfield as well as Delano potentially seeing some moderate rain as well. And that will continue in the valley as well as our mountain communities through those overnight hours with some lingering showers in those early morning hours tomorrow. It looks like conditions clear up slightly, but then we have some more rain bands moving through tomorrow afternoon, and that's when we could see the threat of thunderstorms here in the valley as well as some areas of our mountain communities, and that threat will continue through those evening hours as well. But looks like those conditions will clear up by Monday, which is just some lingering cloud cover at that time. But as that system moves through tomorrow, we're going to see those showers continue and those temperatures temperatures drop significantly. This is a cold front, a winter like storm. So tomorrow those afternoon highs here in the valley topping out in those mid to upper 60s, well below average for this time of year. We should be in those mid 80s, 44 as that afternoon high in Fraser Park, 53 in Tehachapi, 46 in Lake Isabella. But because of this system moving through those gusty winds and that rain, we have another day of good air quality tomorrow with a forecasted AQI of 44. But we do have a winter storm warning for our mountain communities that's in effect now it will last until 11 p.m. here in Bakersfield by the time this system wraps up we could see close to three quarters of an inch of rain here in the valley. Those temperatures staying below average over the next few days. We're going to see that slight reprieve on Monday, but then another system is going to roll into the county on Tuesday. This one doesn't look like it'll have as much moisture as this one that we're experiencing right now, but there's still the threat of thunderstorms with that system. And we'll see those temperatures start to warm back up those 80s return by Friday. In the Kern River Valley, a high of 58, and then we'll see those 60s return as those rain chances continue to Hatchapi and Fraser Park tomorrow. You guys are looking at those mid 50s, those mid 50s continuing on Monday 